Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 116 for the XAR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to use the link to the top of page feature in XAR Web Designer 9 Premium. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is either open up the default document that appears when you open up XAR Web Designer 9 Premium, like what you see on screen, or you could create a web page and make it really long so that I can illustrate this feature. But in this case, I'm going to use the document that opens by default when you open up XR Web Designer 9 Premium. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is scroll to the bottom of the page and then go to your toolbar, select the text tool, and I'm going to write the word top of web page. Now you can write whatever you want, but in this case I'm going to write top of web page. And then select the selection tool from your toolbar and right click on this text, go to web properties, and then under the link tab, we're going to look for the option that says link to. Select that, select the drop down menu, and select top of page. And then hit apply, OK. And then let's go ahead and preview this in our web browser. And I'm going to go to Chrome and view it in the Chrome web browser. And let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom of our web page. And then select the option that says top of web page you'll see that it scrolls to the top of the web page when we click on that link. Now this might not seem very useful since this isn't a super long web page, but let's go ahead and go to xar.com. And then let's click on products. And let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom of the web page. And then look for the option that says top. And left click on that. And when you left click on that, you see that it takes us all the way to the top of the web page, which in this case, this is a really long web page. So when you click on top, it's actually really convenient not to have to scroll all the way to the top of the web page. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.